I want to uh, go over a few things here. I'm going to touch a few subjects. I would like to touch self-love. I would like to touch on detachment. And I'd also like to touch on you should always be working towards something. Like working towards a goal in life, working towards improving tools, working towards learning a new skill, things of this nature. Uh, first, we will start with self-love. And <clears throat> the reason why self and love is what self and love. The reason why self-love is the most important thing is because this should be this is the thing. It should be obvious and simple. That that's what you should be chasing but it really is it's so simple and obvious that you would just think it was a you would be mind blown the fact that others uh, and yourself included uh, does not fully comprehend it and follow through with it myself included like me included I didn't fully grasp this until recently so you are the thing you're in charge of. You're the thing that you need to get you through the day and to succeed in whatever you do. Uh, you're really your biggest responsibility. So, and the reason why self-love is, again, the most important thing is because if you do not love yourself, you are going to be incapable of fully loving others because you won't even know what it means to love. If you don't love yourself, you will judge yourself. And because you judge yourself, you'll judge others. And because you judge yourself and others, you'll think that others judge you. And it starts a, a horrible view of reality, a horrible perspective. So the best way to talk to yourself and the best way to think and the best way to love yourself is treat yourself as someone you love and care deeply about. So... Thinking properly, speaking to yourself properly, goes a very long way. How should you speak to yourself? How should you think, you might ask? Well, don't think negatively and don't get attached to negative thoughts that pop into your mind. Also, talk to yourself in a kind, loving, supportive way. But also give yourself real constructive feedback in a caring and lovable and loving way so you do not want to be a tyrant to yourself and you also don't want to let yourself get away with anything and everything and be a slave to impulses and urges and habits self-love is the answer to every every problem that faces us now and in the future so it's self-love if giving you an example here if hitler loved himself fully loved himself none of that would have happened if bin laden truly loved himself that would not have happened so and the reason and the, the hey hitler and bin laden is a great example to go into the next thing detachment if Hitler and Bin Laden, well, well, for one, they were fueled by resentment, hate, anger. But let's just cut that out. If they loved themselves, they wouldn't be fueled by that, for one. But the reason uh, the detachment comes into play is because they were tyrants. They got ideas and beliefs in their mind, and they grasped onto them, and it fueled them. They got attached to them too deeply, and look what happened. But detachment goes much, much uh, deeper and further than, than just that. It goes into every ordinary walk of life, uh, what you're doing on a daily basis. So, for an example, if you were attached to, your, to other people's or your parents or your friends or whoever's uh, opinion or criticisms about you, then you're just working to serving them and making them happy even if you're miserable at it so for an example if, you're, if your parents or someone tells you that uh, gives you criticisms about the way you act or some things you do or even some opinions you have or beliefs you have 
if for one you need to to really truly be honest with yourself and ask are they coming at me in a loving and caring way where they want the best for me especially on the criticisms part because uh, more than more more than likely you are biased and blind to some behaviors you have you can get to a certain point where you you're you can become aware of them focus on them and you can change it but unless it's legitimate and it's just something nitpicking you should not be attached to that you should detach from that opinion and that criticism and you should definitely detach from it if they're trying to tell you that they want you to do something for a career or they want you to marry some person i mean these are obvious things but they're examples it will if you're attached to them that much and you're attached to their what they want for you in life then you are not going to be living for yourself you're going to be miserable you're going to be anxious you're going to be depressed so detach from that really you should detach from anyone else's opinions about you what they do in their life um, about their opinions about anything you should not be attached to it because what happens if you get attached to something and you want to control it or you want to live up to that it's going to make you miserable so another example if you're working a job and you're miserable at that job but you make great money and your boss is let's just say your boss is an asshole you're attached to the money and you're giving this person control over you this is another one do not let anything control you but before we go into the control thing do let's just go back to the attachment and detachment the biggest thing that i would suggest you not get attached to is beliefs and ideas and theories about this or about anything of that nature but also don't get attached to certain outcomes like you have to have a certain outcome and you have to control things you have to you have to let control go your life would be a lot more simple and easy and joyful if you did example with this before we move on let's say that you applied for a job and you want that job really really bad and you're waiting on certain things to come back before you can start this job and something of this nature or you're waiting on a call back about the interview to start or whatever and you're getting so attached to that it's running your life it's all you can think about it's all you can focus on it's uh, giving you mood swings or anxiety detach from the outcome of that because what's the worst thing that would happen if you didn't get that job? Well, you could find another job. You see, it's not that serious. This is a huge reason why you have to lose the human or evolve the human mind, uh, whichever term you prefer in that regard. Control. And why you should not let anything or anyone can tr have control over you. And this can go back to people's opinions about you. It can, and then let's go to the job thing where I just said about the boss uh, being a complete asshole and you hating your job but you make great money you've let the money have control over you and you're attached to it but you also are giving that boss control over you in the sense that they he she or whoever uh, feels like they can push you and do anything speak to you in any manner may uh, ask you to do anything and you're not going to uh, stand up for yourself or they know you're not going to walk away because of the money so you're given that control over you also do not give substances control over you that you put in your body if you think you have to have something every day or you think you have to have something to feel a certain way or you just think you have to have something in general that has control over you so the end goal is freedom Freedom from thoughts, freedom from things you put in your body, uh, freedom from illogical emotion, uh, and not understanding it. Now, emotions are something you need to explore, something you need to deal with as they arise, but getting emotions from these things I've spoken about earlier and making them have control over you 
And that's something you need to cut out to, to have freedom. So, but uh, to end this, I want to talk about why you should always be working towards something. There's multiple reasons, but for one, you will have a more fulfilling life. You will take on more responsibility, which also leads to a more fulfilling and joyful life. And you always want to be evolving something and working on something. I'm going to give you some examples here of things that I'm working on, uh, even though they can be compressed into one thing. I'm working on being a better listener, being more engaged in conversations, uh, listening more. I'm trying to improve that. I'm also trying to improve not getting distracted throughout the day. That means like picking up my phone and scrolling through it or my mind going in places etc things like this and the third one is i'm trying to stay in the present moment more so if you stay in the present moment more you're not going to get distracted and you're going to obviously be a better listener so really i guess i can say i'm working on staying in the moment more but i'm also when people are having uh, conversations with me i'm putting my awareness into and focus on being more listening more uh, more deeply so, and then the getting distracted part, that's just something I try to do throughout the day. Like if I'm having a conversation with someone and my phone goes off, I'm not looking at it, or if I'm, or not just reaching for it and looking, or if I'm bored, not just, if I'm, I'm really trying to, if I'm bored, focusing on something um, that can at least give me some wisdom or knowledge or something that will benefit me, not just scrolling through a phone or playing a video game or you see what I'm saying? Things like this. So I believe that will be it for today. I do love you guys. I appreciate you guys more than you'll know. I hope I'm, I can help you in any way. I hope I'm helping anyone in any way. Um, and I want to give a special shout out to two people, Slappy McGee and Luca. Uh, I really do appreciate you guys a lot. Like a, really, I do. And I cannot express that enough. So it is a game of form and a play of life. I am you talking to you, and so is everyone else. I love you and care for you deeply. So please, please wake up. <laughs>